all the time that I've been on the lifeboat, this boat, which was 1720, its name was Spirit of Northumberland, and it was paid for by the people of this area, so this boat meant a lot to the people. That was our boat. Water and paint, you know, it just, it's great, you know, to capture that uh, lovely shape of a boat with, with the reflections and then the sunrises, what you get, and sunsets, and just capturing the feel of it. But it's capturing that moment of time, you know? So I saw a black and white image, which was of the Heron girls carrying the nets around the Fishgate North Shields. And I just loved the, the motion, the action of it. I do tend to leave the background loose, and people ask me why, why the drips happen. It's because I, the loose technique is it's like an observational drawing which happens quite quickly within this sort of work. It's important to feel that these baskets are full of fish. And I want to try to capture this weight within the basket. I painted pictures of fishing boats six, seven years ago, the key as it was, and a lot of them boats have changed already. So it's almost capturing, the, like a time capsule, but also being able to paint historic scenes for people to kind of think that's what it was like. So you don't see any of the pier in the, in the shot at all, but you know the pier's there, but it's just it's, it's the power of the water. And, and it just, I wanted to put the boat in there and have it so that it looks like it's, it, it's powering through. I painted it for um, Michael Nugent, who was the coxswain, who's just retired. <laughs> 